Hi all, so I'm showing you how to make this simple crochet teddy. Now on the previous video I showed you how to make the head. So this time I'm going to be showing you how to make the body. The head and the rest of the parts will all be linked together so you can find each section together. But for now we're just going to concentrate on the body. Okay. So for that we're using a DK weight yarn. This is just Stylecraft Special DK. And we're using a 3mm hook. Hopefully you can see there. It's also handy if you have a stitch marker if you need to keep an eye on where you are. Scissors to cut the yarn and a needle to weave in your ends. So I'm going to start with a magic circle or magic ring and for six single crochets, that's UK double crochets. And I use the yarn under method because it gives a tighter, neater toy. But we're just doing six single crochets into the magic ring. If you can't do magic ring and you don't want to learn how to do it, then just chain two and then join that and work in the loop that creates. So that's my single, six single crochets, and I've pulled my loop nice and tight. And now, going on to round two, which means we're going to increase stitches all around so until we have 12 stitches. We're basically doubling what we currently have. Put your stitch marker on the loops that you currently have here, put it around that loop and that will tell you where you need to finish. So we're just going to increase in each stitch, so that's two single crochets or UK double crochets into each stitch around until we have 12 stitches. This follows the basic Aragurumi increases for making most toys. Okay, so that's with 12 stitches, so we're just going to move the stitch marker back onto that loop that's around the crochet hook right now. Now we're ready to do round 3. Round 3, we're going to take it up to 18 stitches, so we're going to increase 6 stitches. And to do that, we're going to do one normal single crochet into this first one. And then the second stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, we're going to increase. And we're going to repeat that around, doing one single crochet, and then an increase stitch, so two single crochets, into the next stitch. And that's your 18 stitches for round 3. So again, move the stitch marker if you're using one. Now we're going to do round 4, which we're taking up to 24 stitches. So again, that's another 6 stitch increase. Um, so this time round, we're going to do 2 normal 
stitches so two single crochet straight and then on the third stitch we're going to do another increase so that would be two single crochets into the same stitch and we're going to repeat that around to normal and then an increase. It's a good idea to start working your tail end in at this point so that make sure you've got it thoroughly tight and then just make sure you're hooking your tail end in to make sure it's all neat and tidy out of the way. Now you, I also work the actual tail end within the stitch as well um, to make sure there's no way it's coming out. And what I mean by that is you take both pieces, the tail end and the working arm, and pull it through. So there it's got two loops, so that counts as one. And then move your tail end back out the way. And just your working yarn to finish that stitch off. And you've hooked your tail end in, and that's preventing it coming unraveled. So if you do that every few stitches and work around, you can move your tail end as you go, but making sure it's super secure. So just need to do another single crochet and then I want an increase. Now as I use the yarn under method, mine is smaller and tighter. If you're using the basic yarn over method, your stitches will be a bit looser than mine. Unless you have a really tight tension. In that case I recommend possibly trying to loosen up a little. And the last couple of stitches. One, two, and then increase stitch. And that move your stitch mark that up, and that's row four done, right round four and on to round five. And you now have 24 stitches. So we're now going to go up to 30 stitches. So again, it's an increase of six, six stitches. And this time around, we're going to do three normal stitches and then an increase stitch. Don't forget to keep working your tail end in. <coughs> yep, I'm doing three normal and then an increased stitch.
And yeah, we now have 30 stitches. So move up the stitch marker. And now for round six, we are doing four single crochets and then an increased stitch. Okay, so that's two, three, four, and then increase. Repeat that all the way round and you're going to have 36 stitches. If you kept the stitched count correct, you'll always finish on an increase. So that's round six done. We now have 36 stitches. Now for round seven to 15, we're just going to do straight stitches all the way around as single crochet, no increases. So I'll do one row with you on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera. So we're just going to go single crochets all the way around, no increases. You should have 36 stitches. Okay, so that's the first round, so that's round seven. So we're just going to keep doing that, going round and round until we have 15 rows done. And what that's doing is we started at the bottom body here, and we're just creating that first bit of curve before we start slowly decreasing across the length of the body. So I will see you back here when I've done up to row 15. See you soon. Hi. Hi, guys. So this is now row zero. To, well, 1, 2, um, 15, all done. So we're now going to be working on row 16. After this point, you would start stuffing. 
but I'm going to leave off doing the stuffing until the latest possible because I've discovered whenever I add stuffing it messes with my focus so I'm going to leave it to the latest possible but I recommend you start your stuffing around in the next couple of rows okay so round 16 we're going to start our first decrease round so we're going to go from 36 stitches down to 30 I'm going to do that by doing four normal stitches, so four single crochets, and then we're going to do the decrease, and that's going to be an invisible decrease. So I'll show you how to do that. So just do four single crochets. Remember that's UK double crochets. Four. Now we're going to do a decrease, and the way we do the decrease to make it invisible is we go into the front loop of the first stitch then come back round and go into the front loop of the second stitch and then do your normal pull through to do your normal single crochet and that hides the decrease and nobody will actually see it when you're doing them nobody can really see your decreases because you've managed to pull the front loop up and the back loop hides the hole that would be created from decreasing so we're just going to repeat that around, so four single crochets and then a decrease. Now if you've worked out right, your decrease will be the last stitch you do on this round. And we now have 30 stitches. So move the stitch marker up. And we move on to rows 17 and 18. Now rows 17 and 18 are both straight rows, so you're just going around with no decreases, okay? This is what gives the gradual decrease. We do we do a decrease row and then we do some straight rows and then the decrease row and that just gives the gentle sloping of the body. So two straight rows now.
that's row 17 done, straight round. So do the same for row 18, just go straight round, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, so that's row 17 and 18 done. So we're now on row 19, which is another decrease. And we're going to do three single crochets, and then we're going to do that invisible decrease again. So just do three single crochets, so that's U, S double crochets, remember. UK double crochet, sorry. Remember the invisible decrease is through the front loop, come back around and go through the second front loop of the next stitch and then finish off your normal stitch. Repeat that around doing three single crochets and then a decrease row. This will take you down to 24 stitches. So just like we increased by 6, we'll always be taking away 6 at the same time. Okay, so that's row 19, 24 stitches. So rows 20 and 21 are once again just straight rows. So if you do nine, do 20 and 21 all the way around and I'll meet you back after I've done my two rows of straight stitches. Okay. Hey guys, so that's row 20 and 21 also done now, two straight rows. You can see the body is starting to take shape. Don't forget to start stuffing, um, I would normally have it quite stuffed by now but as I don't want to mess with the focus I'll stuff it the last minute um, but I do recommend you lot start stuffing now, get it really nice and firm in the bottom so that as you add more you don't have to worry about the bottom not being stuffed enough. So we're on to round 22 and this time we're going to be doing two single crochets and then the decrease stitch. So that's one, two, remember that's a single crochet US but double crochet UK. And then we're just going to go in the front loop of the first stitch, front loop of the second stitch, and then finish our single crochet, giving us our invisible decrease. So do that all the way around, doing two stitches and then a decrease stitch. Okay, so that's row 22 done, which has left us with 18 stitches now. So this is how the body is starting to take shape. So round 23 and 24 is once again doing straight rounds. Okay, So just do 20, 18 stitches straight around and do two rows of that.
that's row 23 then. So do row 24, which again is just a straight row. Yeah, that's row 24 done. So we're on to row 25, but I'm just going to stop here and I'm going to stuff my toy off camera so that we don't mess with the focus. I'll see you back in a second. Hey guys, so that's mine all stuffed now. So I recommend you have yours pretty well stuffed by this point so it's nice and firm and right up to the very top of where your stitches are. That way you only have to put a little bit more in as you close off. Because we're now on to round 25 and we're going to go from 18 stitches down to 12. So we're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to do a decrease. Remember, do the invisible decrease so it's through the front of the loops. And that's double crochet for the UK people. This is the last stitch here, so we're now down to 12 stitches. We just finished row 25. Row 26 is another set of decreases because we're now closing this off. We're going to go down to 6 stitches. So I recommend putting a tiny bit more stuffing in if you've not filled it right up. Hopefully this little bit won't mess with the focus too much. I want to make sure you keep that topped up as best as possible. Now we're just going to decrease all the way around until we have six stitches. Go into the front loop with both stitches and complete the stitch. Can kind of get a little fiddly at this point, but just bear with it and you'll get there. that stuffing did mess with the focus. Give me two seconds. There we go. Back in focus again. Sorry about that. Apparently even the small amount of stuffing will mess with the focus. <laughs> so we're just doing the decrease rounds. So by the time you get to your stitch marker you should have six stitches left. Now remove your stitch marker. Now, the last bit we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch 
into the next stitch and then fasten off which is do like a chain one, snip your yarn and pull it all the way through. And this is your body basically made, we're just going to weave in the ends. This is your last chance to add any stuffing if you're wanting to add any more stuffing but I think mine's pretty good. So we're just going to weave around through the stitches of the top just to make sure we can cinch that top fully closed. You want to make sure that as tight as possible. Go through in a few different places just to make sure that there's no way that that's going to open up. And then once you're sure, pick a little part of the stitch, a little leg, and tie a knot around it. Make sure it's really in there tight. And then you want to weave your ends in. When you're weaving your ends in, go through the stuffing. It can be a little fiddly, but just kind of find a way through. Because weaving through the stuffing will give it a much more secure end. You want to do this several times just to make sure that it's well and truly secure. Make sure you go back in where you came out so you're not pulling on your actual stitches but you're pulling within the stuffing so it's well and truly secure. It might take a few times to find a way through. There's usually a path of least resistance somewhere. There we go. If you bring out your stuffing while you're sewing, just poke it back in when you go back through again. Let's see, nobody had to spot that. Okay, make sure you give it a really good pull and snip it off, and your end will bounce back in, and that is your body secure. So that's the head and the body done. I will show you how to join these together once I've done the arms and the legs and I'll do a video about how to sew everything together. But for now, that is that finished. And check back soon for how to do the arms, legs, ears and tail. Which you can see a nice, quick and simple. And it won't take very long to do it all. Okay, so see you soon. Bye.